morning guys and welcome to another video in this video i'm going to be attempting to create the perfect body suit because i'm about to have that hot girl summer moment so i'm going to be going to the fabric shop this morning to find i'll say like three different fabric options because i want to show three different styles in this video so come with me to the shop i'll share how i make the patterns if i make any and then we'll see the finished outcome at the end but before we get into that i just want to say thank you guys so much for the love on the the white dress i made from the duvet cover from asda like you guys really really love that dress it got lots of positive feedback love share comments and i'm just so grateful that the hard work paid off because that dress was a lot of work and it was a serious risk because it was like a, a type of content that i had not done before but i'm glad you guys enjoyed it so we're going to be doing the same style in this video i'll take you guys find the fabric we make the patterns and i just update you as i go along okay let's go just heading off to the shops now see what i can find it is nice and sunny today as you can see my forehead is already loving the sun <laughs> Some really good options here, especially for like animal print. I have one Thank you. Mm. Awesome. I spotted that as well. to be here all day <laughs> wow look at that it's like a spanx blue ocean snake this is so nice I am back home now and these are the fabrics that I got the first one here is this black and gold stretch um, I don't even know the exact name of this fabric it's like a jersey blend so it's plain on the inside and then it has this gold piping that just feels so nice and elegant I got a meter and a half I thought this would be great to make a more dressy option for the bodysuits. The second option I got is this um, animal prints, like more like snake skin. I don't have anything snake skin. This is stretchy as well. It's like a t shirt, soft, lightweight material. I got a meter and a half as well. And then the third one is this gorgeous and beautiful. We all know what I'm saying. This is gorgeous because it has yellow. And that looks so nice against the black and the white. I got this in a meter and a half. Um, I think this might be the sleeveless one. This one will definitely have sleeves. Now this one, I'm not sure, but we'll figure it out. But these are all the materials that I got from the quick trip to the shop. Now the bodysuit I'm going to be making in this tutorial is one that has a simple round neck three quarter sleeves and it buttons up the crouch on the bottom area and it's just a really nice and fitted silhouette and i'm going to be adapting this pattern to make two other designs so today is day two i am going to be working on the pattern for the first jumpsuit design i'm going to be doing three styles i'll probably try and show them all in this video but i think one kind of leads into the other so i have my sketch here I always had to do a sketch that breaks down the style a bit more and then I know what measurement I need before I go ahead to start. So I'm going to be needing the following measurement for this bodysuit. Since it's like a top and a bottom in one, you need to measure around your bust, you need to measure around your waist, you need to measure around your hip, just for like reference and that guides you. You need to measure the vertical distance from your shoulder to your bust and then from your bust 
to your waist and then from your waist to your hip and then the most important measurement for a bodysuit is your crouch depth now the way you measure this is you sit down and then you measure from your waist to the point that your butt touches the seat that measurement is going to help you draw the the panty or the the g-string or that triangle shape of the bodysuit you really need that measurement to create that part of the garment since we're going to be making a style that has sleeves you need to decide on how long you want your sleeve to be measure around your biceps around your elbow and around your wrist because i sort of want to do something fitted for one of the styles but you can go for a balance sleeve or a flare sleeve whatever you want now that we have these measurements here i'm going to get started with the pattern and basically share the full process with you guys <laughs> So I'm going to be starting with the front plan for the bodysuit and I'm just going in here to draw a long vertical line which will become my center front line. Along that line I'm going to mark the vertical distance from my shoulder to my bust line and then from my bust line to my waistline and then from my waistline to the crouch depth point. Now I highly recommend you use your measurement or that of your client for the best outcome. Once you've marked these points, the next thing you need to do is to go across and square them across like so. This way you are able to mark a quarter of the dimensions along these lines. Next up, I'm just going in to mark 6 inches below my waistline and this is going to help me draw the panty or the V shape that the body suit has and after marking that 6 inch point, I'm just going ahead to square across like so. After that, I'm going to go back in and mark a quarter of my bust measurement minus 1 inch along the bust line and that 1 inch is just going to help to accommodate for the stretch of the fabric. I'm going to repeat the same thing for the waistline, quarter of waist measurement minus one inch and then connect both points together like so. So I have the side seam that connects my bust to my waist. After that, I'm going to go down to that area that we marked that is around our hip and I'm going to mark a quarter of my hip minus one inch and connect that point to my waistline. Now once we have these points connected, you see the shape of the side seam coming into play. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be extending the crouch edge by about 1 inch. I ended up extending this by about 4 inches at the end of the day but at this point that was how much I extended it by. And then I am marking 1 and quarter inch along this area like so and I'm going to be drawing in the shape of the front leg opening. I always like to draw in curved lines by hand first and then going back in to define them with my pattern master but you can choose to work whichever way that you prefer. Now I'm going in here to extend it by another one inch and just square that point like so. This is going to be the connecting point from the front to the back and the next thing I'm going to be doing is working on the neckline. First up, I'm marking 5 inches below the shoulder point like so. Then I am going to go to the shoulder line and mark 3.5 inches inwards like this and then draw a slanted line that measures 3.5 inches, that is your shoulder waist. And once you have that line drawn in place, we can draw in the arm curve for the front. Next up, I'm just going in here to draw in the front neckline. I just want a simple round neckline so I ensure the front edge is slightly straight and then it curves back into the shoulder point. So this is the front plan done and I kid you not, once you have that front plan, the back is very, very similar. The only changes that you have to do is you would have to change the back arm curve, the neckline and the shape of the leg opening so it covers up the bum a little bit if that's the shape that you want. Now I'm just going to grab some paper and trace off the sides curve and the center back edge as well as that bottom shape for the back and then the back dips lower like this because it's intended to cover your bum just a little bit like I like to do, draw by hand first and then go back in and refine with my pattern master. 
after adding the two notches to indicate that this is the back i'm going to go to the back arm curve and draw it in place the back arm curve is always shallower compared to the front because the front has to be a little bit more curved to accommodate the bust now the back neckline is one and a quarter inches lower and i'm going to draw in the back neckline like so so it is way higher than the front as you can see here so now that you have your front and back bodysuit done, this is essentially all you need if you're doing like a sleeveless version. I'm going to add seam allowance and set it to the side before working on my sleeve pattern. Now the sleeve pattern is one that I'm going to try and do something I've never done before. So I'm going to be tracing off the front arm curve and the back arm curve in such a way that I can create a sleeve that is almost identical to the shape of the arm curves. Now I've traced up the front and I'm going to trace up the back and both arm curves are separated by about one and a half inches as you can see in this point here. This is going to allow for ease on the top of the sleeve. Now I'm just going in here to draw a shape like so that goes from the top of the sleeve head and curves back in and the sleeve is slightly elevated around the top area and it curves back into the bottom curves for the front and the back and it sort of mirrors the same behavior on the other side. Don't forget to transfer your notches and indicate the middle point of your sleeve head. Next up here, I'm just going in to mark the length of my sleeve. My sleeve was 21 inches because I wanted it to be three quarter. And I'm just drawing in a line that divides the sleeve into half. And then I'm marking the vertical distance for where my biceps, my elbow and my wrist sit and square these points across. Along these lines, we're going to be marking the dimension for the width of your bicep, your elbow and your wrist. So I'm just marking mine across like so. My bicep was about 12 inches and my elbow was about 10 and my wrist was about seven if I remember correctly. So once you've marked all those points in place, you essentially just connect them together along the sides like so. So you have the sides of your sleeve created. Now it's worth it to go back and check that the left and the right side of the sleeves they match before adding your one centimeter seam allowance and two centimeter hem allowance to have your sleeve pattern. So I went ahead to add all the necessary seam allowances and cut out my patterns and this is the main bodysuit pattern I'm going to be using to create the three styles of bodysuits in this video. This is done to like a UK size 10 for anyone who is wondering but I always recommend using your measurement or that of your clients for the absolute best outcome. Now moving on to cutting out the bodysuit in fabric, I've gone ahead to pin down my patterns on my material and I tried to work with the print in such a way that I had some sort of symmetry going on. So I had to play around with the placement of my pattern but I think I succeeded at the end of the day. So I'm just going in here to cut out my front, my back and my sleeve pieces so I have all of the parts ready for my bodysuit. Cut out all my pieces in case you can hear George talking in the background is on an office call but I have my back, front, sleeve and then I also cut some straps. These are going to help me finish the neckline um, and around the leg opening for both sides of the bodysuit. I just cut about, um, I said this is about a meter long and it's about um, 1.5 inches wide so i'll probably like fold it in half and like use it as some sort of bias binding so that's the only thing i didn't do pattern for that i ended up cutting everything else is here i have both of my sleeves <gasps> Ooh, this is turning out so nice oh my god okay so i'm going to make this one first um finish it up and then when i'm done before i start to do it i will say if i make any mistake on the pattern i can see it from this one and correct it before doing the other two styles that i want to do for this project you're also going to be needing some snap fasteners this is the one that has two side and i have it in silver and i have it in black i think for this leopard for the leopard print for this snake print i'll most likely use a silver one usually they sell this in like tw sets of 20 sets of 30 
and I just like to have a pack in the house because they're always coming very, very handy. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to sew the bodysuit. The first thing you need to do is to join the shoulder seams connecting the front to the back. And the amazing thing about stretch fabric and my overlocker is that it overlocks and sews. So this was essentially how I put the entire piece together. Once we have the shoulder seams joined, I'm going to go ahead and attach my sleeve on a flat. I find it a lot easier to fix sleeves this way compared to doing it on a round. So once I had my sleeve pinned into place, I'm going to take this to my machine and sew my sleeve into the armhole of my garment. I did this for the left and for the right hand side. And once you have the sleeve stitched in, you essentially just join the side seam of the body and the side seam of the sleeve in one long continuous stitch. So you can start from the bottom or you can start from the sleeve, whatever area you prefer, it doesn't really matter. And you just sew up the entire piece to create the fitted bodysuit. Okay, so I quickly put on the bodysuit just to check that everything fits nice. And damn, look at the fit. I really wanted the sleeve to be three quarters. So I'm happy the, with the length of the sleeve. The body sits really nicely as well. There's no like annoying excess material anywhere. It's comfortable and stretchy. The sleeve, I can lift up my hand and put it down because that was my worry when I was drafting the sleeve pattern. I love how the pattern of the, the print just goes right through the middle. Now, the last thing I'm a bit conscious of and worried of is if this would connect with the back. I guess we'll find out when we finish off the, the leg here and here. Worst case scenario is I might have to attach like a little bit of material there, but so far, so good. I'm very happy with this. Like, ah, uh, ah. Uh, look now. Uh, you be the judge. Tell me. Tell me in the comment section. This is actually really nice. Okay, so I was correct. I did try to make the bottoms touch, but <laughs> it was too short. So I ended up cutting uh, and a tiny piece here that measures 3.5 inches. I just doubled it so I don't have a raw edge on this side. I'm going to be connecting to the front. This is going to help the connecting part at the bottom to overlap so the front is going to overlap over the the bottom piece so i'm going to join this here before finishing off the sides of the legs so on this side and on this side as well after connecting the extension point to the front i'm just going in here to overlock the leg edges on the left and the right hand side and after doing that, I'm going to go in and fold and sew that leg curve so we have a nicely finished edge on both sides. After doing this, this is what the bottom of the bodysuit is looking like. It looks so nice already and I'm already excited to try it on. So the next thing I did after that was I folded and stitched the sleeve hem as well so we have that nicely finished before going into work on the neckline now i cut the color piece that is slightly smaller than the actual neckline of the bodysuit because that difference in dimension would help it to sit a lot nicer along the neck after joining it to create a tunnel, I folded it in half and I have pinned it into the neckline of the bodysuit like so and I'm going to be sewing the collar into the bodysuit using my overlocker like this. Now as I sew, I pulled the collar slightly to fit the dimension of the neckline and once I'm done doing that, I went back in to do a top stitch that held down the same allowance to that edge of the neckline on this side like so. The last step to finish this bodysuit is to hand stitch the snap fasteners onto this edges of the bodysuit for the front and for the back it comes as a set so the side that has the pointed edge goes on the back crouch and the side that has the opening for this parts to fit into goes on the front so you have a set that you can snap together to close off the bodysuit so I'm just going to finish that off by hand stitching this pair on this side like so, so we can try on the finished product. Okay, so I am done with this bodysuit. Ooh, 
oh come on like it's giving me oh my lord like guys no let me know in the comment section for guys ah. not because i made it to but ah, look now look look at the fit as in i finished making it i tried it on and then i paired it with like these white shorts because it's getting warmer in the uk and it just looks so nice it's very comfortable on the fabric has nice lots of stretch so i can lift up my hands do the hallelujah left to right i can hug i can bend and it's very comfortable now the only thing i'll say is the the i don't say the v word but you know down there the lower zone where <laughs> where the buttons connect i would say it would help to just extend the back um the back piece that goes in like that to extend it i'll say another one to two inches just so it's a little bit easier it does clasp and connect to i'm able to wear it but for like an easier connection in terms of like reaching extend the back as well because now it goes all the way from the front and it goes all the way to the back so if you want it to meet somewhere in the middle extend the back as well for a more comfortable fit but besides that everything else turned out really really well ah you know that feeling you get when you make something that you know you're going to wear i'm going to wear shaggy out of these bodysuits eh? thank god i made three because I'll be rotating them <laughs> every week is so so nice and so comfortable oh my gosh so I'm going to go ahead and work on the second and the third ones and I'll try it on and show you guys what they fit like okay okay Woo! Woo! and now for the sleeveless bodysuit design the difference between the pattern I made and the design here is that I lifted the neckline on the front by one inch as you can see there so that's the one change and then the second change is I made the armhole wider so I shifted it in by two inches from this edge here and I just curved it back to the side seam I kept everything else the same for the front I made the change on the pattern remember when I tried it on the first time it was too short so I added three inches on this bottom here but just on the front and then for the back the this side is the same the side seam is the same but because we made the shoulder shorter on the front we need to do the same on the back so i shifted it in by two inches i kept the neckline the same and i just curved it back or curved it in towards the side seam here and this is the sleeveless jumpsuit design i think it will look really nice in this yellow and black print and then i just cut some straps these will help me finish the armhole and then i think the neckline i will just probably overlock and then fold and stitch i'll do that for the front and for the back and then use these bands as bias strips to finish off the armhole then just join the same way i joined the first design on the sides finish off these leg openings add the poppers on the front and on the back and i'll show you guys what it looks like on when i am done <laughs> so this is bodysuit number two this one feels like i'm wearing a swimsuit actually the fabric is just a little bit thicker and it has a bit more weight than swimsuit fabric but the cut feels like very conservative bikini this is what it looks like from the back almost a racer bag but not quite a racer bag this one has a slightly higher neckline and i finished off the arm opening the way i finished the neckline of the front it is the same like you know v pointing in the front v pointing on the back this is bodysuit number two you guys should let me know which bodysuit is actually your favorite one the first one this one or the last one that i'm about to show you because all three are really cute really nice fits very well on the body i am very pleasantly surprised honestly like oh so this is the third and final bodysuit i made and this one has a slightly balloon sleeve and a cuff here because i wanted something a bit more dressy with this material since it has the sparkles on the surface for this one i went for a v neckline and it's fitted on the body comfortable around the the crouch area this is what it looks like very comfortable on the fabric is smooth on the inside so it's not 
scratchy because you know on the surface it has these ridges that could be scratchy if it's directly against your skin but the material is smooth on the inside so it's actually comfortable on now this would pair really well with like a fitted skirt or bootleg trousers for a more dressy event or with jeans or shorts i just paired it with these white shorts because this was the closest thing within reach but yeah this is the third and final bodysuit it went from like casual to um fun to elegant elevated style what do you guys think let me know your favorite one in the comment section down below if you've been recreating this make sure to tag me as well at kim Dave designs because this bodysuit pattern is something you could easily use for swimwear you just have to add the elastic around the leg opening and probably close the bottom if you're going to be wearing it as a bikini but aside that is a very versatile pattern that you could use for your other projects you could add different necklines different sleeves have fun with the choice of fabrics and colors that you use but with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your sewing community or anyone that you think will find it useful. And until my next video, have a good morning, afternoon, and evening wherever you are. Bye! I don't just sound like a dance routine. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>